Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So we have a minor update today. If we look at our simulations, we now have a real-time simulation uh, where I can prove that it is currently the 23rd of December because the Earth is in the correct position related to everything else. And look, you'll even see that in America, <clears throat> because this is so accurate, it's going to be, yep, it's just day now. Uh, which, which, yeah, is pretty accurate because that is when I am, uh, making my video. In the morning, because family is coming over. Yes, great Christmas stuff. Um, so, that's pretty cool. We can destroy the Earth in real time. Uh, for example, if we plop down Mercury two inches away from Earth, it will go very slowly because this is one second per second in... Mercury has no speed to start, so we're gonna give Mercury a little bit of help because this is just boring There we go a kilometer per second isn't that so scary now is it actually like It's moving, but it's extremely slow We need we need more speed, but I'm not allowed to mess with this because this is real time This is where the earth actually is right now in rotating the same way so as long as I don't touch the time, this is exactly how the universe is at this moment. Um, except for the Mercury I spawned in. Five kilometers per second is not enough. Okay. Uh, ten kilometers per second. What the heck? Okay, Mercury, um... Mercury is being annoying, so we're gonna use a launch tool. Oh, that launched really close. Here we go. Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? <clears throat> now we can go to this motion and just increase the speed of Mercury a bit. There we go. Now it's actually moving. So look at that. Um, everything is going to be kind of uh, thrown off now because when Mercury hits Earth, Earth's orbit's going to be broken and everyone's going to die. But for the main point of this, it is technically accurate. Isn't that exciting? Look how look how slow and impending the doom is. It's pretty crazy even at like a hundred kilometers per second how slow things move in space because they're just so massive oh look at that I'm not yet dead that's exciting so it looks like if 10 seconds ago mercury had hit earth at that speed it would be pretty bad for South America um, we can see the white dot from all across the solar system is very bright it's it's very bright. It's almost as bright as the sun. It's a lot of energy being let off. Um, yeah, Earth is about to have some issues. Man, this is slow. Look at it rolling now. It's messing with the Earth's uh, Earth spin. But this is real time, so this is how fast it would occur. The shock wave and stuff is actually. Uh, very slow when you're not going on, uh, like, a hundred times real time. You can really respect the speed at which things move. The crater isn't even that far considering it's been, like... Oh, well, it hasn't even been, like... Oh, no, the, the time is accurate. Oh, that's weird. I looked at my clock to see how much time was different, and then I realized time is exactly the same in this. Uh, when did we start recording... Uh, OBS says it's been five minutes, so we probably took, so it's probably been like three minutes since I started this simulation. Um, we can see that Earth is actually not doing too well. The crater is spreading out. There is a massive amount of, uh, damage to South America. South America doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> Um, Mexico is up next. It's actually quite bad. Quite, <laughs> Mercury hits Earth. It's quite bad, you know? 
It's not the best thing to ever happen. Let's look at the temperature of Earth. The average temperature is now at 5,000 degrees, but it hasn't had enough uh, time to actually evaporate its oceans and stuff. And Mercury is getting dangerously close to knocking into the Earth's core at this point. It's going about down to here. Yeah, it's, it's about to sink to the bottom. <clears throat> It is absolutely pulverizing and heating things up to the point of basically becoming plasma within the Earth. However, we wouldn't be able to see what's going on in here because the game doesn't simulate it. And that would require volumetric uh, <laughs> simulation and I don't think that's ever come into this game because that would be ridiculously complicated and would take a very powerful computer to uh, process a very, very powerful computer. <clears throat> so it's been, uh, it's been a good four minutes. Mercury is now pretty much uh, done with its attack on Earth. It's kind of getting covered by the ocean now. The atmosphere is reforming. There we go. There's no hole in the atmosphere anymore, guys. Everything's gonna be okay, just like I said. America having a little bit of issues now. Um, wow, Hawaii got really unlucky, didn't they? They just happened. They just happened to spin to a point where Hawaii just got hit by everything. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, the oceans are receding. That's happening now. Um, so it's. It's so fast. Now, now the ocean's receding. It's pretty crazy how quickly this is happening. The global temperature has increased very, very quickly. And we can see the effects of that. Everyone just has to run into the water and make sure they, they, they're still in the water. Because the water may be boiling hot, but you know, it, it's better than the lava on the other side of the earth. It's better. Hey, you know what? If we want to find a positive out of this, it, it it got rid of the corruption in Venezuela. And heck, it's about to get rid of the corruption in the entire world. Isn't that just great? Um, a little bit of atmosphere is leaking over here. That may be an issue. How much, though, if we compare it to, like, moon? Yeah, that's that's a lot of atmosphere leaking. I think I think we're going to lose the atmosphere. That's an issue. I've always liked the atmosphere. Where is surface pressure in the atmospheres? Yes, we have lost basically the entire atmosphere is gone. It is leaking off of the earth very rapidly. <laughs> the amount of heat is uh, thinning it. And the impact itself, just the amount of force, is throwing it off of the planet. Uh, that means bad. It's pretty bad. It's got about 1 20th of the atmosphere it had before, which means no. Breathing will not be easy. Uh, if you live on a uh, mountainous area, you're dead. Well, you're dead pretty much anywhere. It's just, you'd be extra dead if you were on a mountain. Things are looking pretty good for Earth. Uh, pretty, pretty fancy. Look at that. It's pr pretty great. You know, it's not that bad. We, you know, I think the impressive part is that even though everything has gone literally to hell, um, pretty sure that a few people would still be alive right now because it would take a while for the heat to transfer through matter. <laughs> There are limitations on convection uh, and uh, radiation, so we, we can be kind of confident because the Earth is spherical, the radiation uh, spreading the heat isn't going to be able to go through the Earth really. I mean, smaller things, but that still takes a little bit of time. And that wouldn't be like an instant death, it would be more like a slow bake. And then, uh, 
conduction, it takes it takes quite a bit of time to move heat through solid objects. So, yeah, I, I think that's gonna... I, I think at least, like, two people are still alive right now. The atmosphere leaking off is a problem, but that would also take time. Um... The two people alive are probably on Madagascar right now, because we've got... Because of the Earth spin, we've got a lot of debris and small objects falling all across here, causing mayhem. This entire side of the Earth is just completely molten, and Madagascar is just kind of in the middle. And there's still... It, it, now it's kind of... Now, now it's in trouble. Or if you were in Antarctica, Antarctica hasn't had enough time to melt off all of its snow, so... Researchers in Antarctica, that's... They've still got slight hope. SpaceX has to send a Falcon 9 Heavy over there so that they can, uh, get over to Mars in time. Where's Mars? I have my labels off so it's more cinematic. Oh no. Yeah, Earth is pretty much done now. Um, it's pretty crazy looking at it in real time. It didn't... It, I felt like it was taking forever, but now that it's over, uh, this is... That's not much time to, uh, freak out about it. I mean, we'd see it coming from super far away, unless the government hit it with a giant projector. Hashtag flat earth, hashtag conspiracy theorist, hashtag wake up sheeple. Uh, but... Yeah, by the time it hit the atmosphere, you don't have much time. Like... 10 minutes. I think at this point everyone's dead. I think I think by now uh, there are a multitude of factors that are playing into why everyone is dead. I mean just half their wor world is molten so that is bad. <laughs> Pretty bad for tourism especially. And then uh, the fragments are falling all across the world. There'd be many more than this. It would just be pockmarks all over the place. And on top of that, like, the oceans are gone, the atmosphere is gone. Uh, just the force of the planet being hit by something. Now, uh, once again, the Earth is so big, the force would take time to move through the Earth and some things would cushion it and it would deform the Earth. But uh, <laughs> it would be much worse than any earthquake we've had. Uh, I don't know how destructive the shaking force would be, but I can imagine you'd want to be... Probably the safest place to be would be, uh... I don't know. A, a great open field with nothing around that could fall onto you. But even then, the ground around you would crack and... You would be shaking so hard you wouldn't be able to get up. Um... I guess... I guess if you were in the water, but you'd probably drown if you're in the water from being thrashed around like that. So, yeah, there's no real winners here, is there? Um, and I think we're going to speed up the end because this is going to take hundreds of years. And, you know, I just don't have that kind of time right now. So, speeding things up at last, we can see Earth traveling away as it jettisons at, uh, the atmosphere. Look at that, it's being ripped right off of Earth. <laughs> Oof. Can I get a click on Earth? There's a lot, there's so much stuff all around Earth, yeah. Um, and now, over the next few hours, not much happens, which is why I sped it up. Um, the Earth is now jettisoning just normal material, and it is losing mass rapidly. It's, uh, radius is going down very quickly. About 1 30th every few seconds. Well, hours. Every, every few days. It's, but the amount of mass that was lost is pretty crazy. Um, compared to Earth before, Earth is now 1 20th of the size. Whoopsies. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, does that mean that the atmosphere at least cancels out now? 
Yeah, look at that, and now it's like twice as much surface pressure because a little bit of atmosphere it kept compared to the amount of land it lost is actually, uh, high. Well, learn something new every day. And to finish it off, let's watch Earth's recovery. It's not going to be knocked out of the solar system, is it? It was hit pretty fast. Oh, it is. Oh, it so is. <laughs> Okay, so Earth is not going to have fun. Um, the impact from Mercury, I did set it to a pretty ridiculous speed, and Earth is being shot like a bullet. Oh boy. Yeah, if we wanted this to be more realistic, definitely turn down the speed on Mercury there, because that was just preposterous, but I was too lazy to wait for a different simulation, because this would have taken like a hundred times as long but I fit it into 15 minutes. So, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye!